dear viewers and welcome back to Cybrosis. Today in this video let me show you how to create a worksheet template inside the field service module. For that first let's open the field service. This is the field service. So where have you seen this worksheet? Okay. First let's see that. If you are going to create a new task inside field service, you have an area which is called the worksheet template from where you can actually choose among different templates. So where is this worksheet template created from? Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about how to create worksheet template. So if you take any of the existing task, you have this area called the worksheet. If you open that, that is the worksheet which will be filled by the worker. Okay, so here you have the worker signature. It, it will be in such a way. So once the task is completed, that person can, you know, actually fill up the worksheet. So for us to create a new one, let's go to configuration and first of all, go to the settings and you have to make sure that worksheets are enabled over here. So this is to create custom worksheet template. Okay. Once you enable this, make sure you save it. And after saving it, this will be visible under the configuration settings or the configuration menu. So there you have the worksheet template. Click on that and you can see the pre-created templates over here. So you have this default worksheet, device installation and all such things. So let's create a new one. Okay. So from here, you can actually name it. I'm going to name a new one called maintenance. Okay. So after creating it, you can see the name and the worksheets which are under this template. So currently no worksheets are there. And you have this button which is called design template. So click on that which will enable you to design that particular template. So let's wait for it. And here comes the designing page. Okay. First of all, the field is given there. I'm going to change the name as the, I mean, the label, I'm going to change it to worker, who the worker is. Okay. So once it's done, click anywhere on the screen and it will be loading. Okay. So I'm going to add one more thing. So click on add over here, which will enable you to add certain fields to the worksheet. So I'm going to add a date. Okay. So you have to drag and drop it to the template, which you are designing. Okay. So the dragging and dropping is done. So I'll simply name uh, it as date. Okay. That is also done. So you can even add more fields. Okay. So here is the add button. Click on add over there. So you have things like the decimal, monetary, the multi-line text, text, integer, HTML, date, checkbox, selection, and all such things. So I'm going to add signature. To this worksheet so adding the signature so here comes new signature i'm going to change the label as workers workers sign okay so this area the worker will have to sign okay so let's wait so it's that simple so i'm creating a very simple uh you know worksheet okay so from here, you can add a button, you can add a pipeline status bar, all such things can be added. So I'm going to create the simplest one. Okay. So once you're done, what you have to do, you have to, you can see it is already saved. Then you can go to close. Okay. Close it. Okay. Now this is the template called maintenance. Now, if you click on design template again, you can see the designs which you have created till the time. Okay. Till date, these are the editing or the design which you're done with the a uh, template. Okay, so I'm closing it and let's see how to use this into a task. So I'm going to create a new task. Let it be an AC repairing one. Okay, so here I'm going to create a new one or let it be something else. Okay, so suppose my microwave is not working. My oven is not working. Okay, so I'm going to set a repair team or a task is going to be created. So the customer, uh, let it be as your interior is the customer. The task is to repair an oven and the worksheet template by default, this will be the worksheet template. Uh, so I'm going to choose it as maintenance, which is the one which we have created. Okay. So you have things like the phone, the sale order item, the plan date, allocated time, all such things. Okay. So you can see the worksheet from here. Click on the worksheet and it will take you to the one which you have created. So from here, you can choose the worker or give the name of the worker. So I'm giving the name of the worker as John. The date can be chosen. So 
the date on which the maintenance is done and the worker's signature. So click on signature. You can either draw the signature or load it. So I'm just putting a signature, adopt and sign. So once you do the signature, you can simply click on adopt and sign. Okay. So after it's done, you can see by clicking adopt and sign, I agree that the chosen signature initials will be a valid electronic representation of my handwritten signature initials for all purpose when it is used on documents, including legally binding contracts. So once it's signed, the signature will be seen here and then you can save it. So corresponding to the task, the worksheet will be marked as completed and that worksheet which you have created can be used. Okay, so this is basically how you design a worksheet template, how you use it inside a task as well. So I hope it's clear to you guys. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.